Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to seal a painting in resin. But before I do that, I want to show you one reason why resin may be the best option. So this was a painting I did around Halloween. I don't think it's on YouTube, but it's definitely on Instagram. Um, I used the um, embossing powder technique. Um, I used a stencil to stencil on this tree and then the same thing um, with the witch and um i did this i believe i did the pour in like october time frame and then i did this probably in december ish time frame so it was really cold <laughs> in the studio um and the uh all of this um embossing powder cracked i did have it sealed while it was back here it sealed with a matte spray finish so that's why you can't see it glossy because it's not it's matte the matte finish um, makes it feel really cool. I really like that finish, surprisingly, because I'm so glitter and shine and glare. I don't know. I love all the others so much, but I really like the, the texture of this as well. So that's why I went with it, because I used it on another painting with, um, additionally, with um, the embossing powder. I don't know why I'm struggling with that word. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the temperature in the studio, even the painting, I don't think I'll be able to get a really good picture or of the painting cracked maybe there um but yeah it was just super cold and I guess it just compromised the integrity so I bet if I had resin on it it wouldn't have done that I don't really have anything to prove that that's the case but just my gut tells me had it had resin it would not have turned all like this so with that being said I am going to show you how to do that so give me just a second to put this in a safe ish location not that it matters too much now <laughs> um, and then we'll get started okay, so the painting we will be um, co coating in resin today using the resin as our finish is this little guy um, again this painting's not on YouTube it was a leftover paint pour I just had literally a drop of paint um, left in the bottom of a cup like barely any <laughs> and I made like just this little bitty circle it was probably like this big and then I just moved it around a little bit and it probably got a little bit bigger and then I just blew it out and it looked really cool. And then during our week of embellishing, I used a stamp to embellish this giraffe on top. And now we will finish it with resin. Um, so we're gonna need gloves. I'll go ahead and get those on and we'll get started. Um, this will just be a clear coat. I'm not gonna put any additives or glitter or anything into it. I had considered glitter, but I didn't want that to take away from the giraffe. <laughs> so I decided to just leave the giraffe glittery. And let's see here, this is um, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It does work better when you heat it the resin first. Um, I did not really do that this time. I kind of did, but I poured them in the two cups, getting them ready to to mix, and one was just so thick that I was like, we need to heat this. So what I did is I ran a small, um, just like a little bit, a few inches of water, they, they were still in these cups, um, water in my sink, and then of hot water, and then I just set the cups in there. Um, I had to weigh them down because they kept trying to float away <laughs> and um, just let them sit in the sink for a little bit while I prepped the rest for this video and then went and got them out. They still were a little um, thick when I was trying to mix them so it was definitely harder work <laughs> to mix them up this time than it was uh, the last time we did resin or in the past. Um, normally I just run a whole like sink of water and put the whole gallons in there so the whole thing's getting warmed up but yeah this will work just fine it's just more work and if you don't do it at all then it truly really just you're stirring um they seem to be more bubbly from what i remember like i think it should actually probably be on youtube i thought like the resin was like messed up because it was so cloudy and i think it was just because it was so cold and when i went to um mix it up it just like it was really hard to mix and it just got like super crazy cloudy so it doesn't actually impact the integrity of the of the resin because um, I really thought they had messed it up but 
the paintings or the resin work turned out just fine. So. We've got it all coated. We have, I'm um, used a torch to torch out all the air bubbles. a lot of drippage and I think I missed a spot. Um, it is self-leveling so you don't have to worry about that although I'm kind of a perfectionist and worry about it <laughs> but I haven't had any issues. The only issue is if your level if your wherever you leave it to dry is not level then it will level itself which means it'll be thicker on one side and thinner on the other because the table wasn't level but as far as the actual art itself it will do it on its own. I will baby this one a little bit um, to make sure we don't get any drips. Um, I'll show you what I mean. This was from a painting that we did not too long ago. It's actually all resin. We tinted it with resin. And we're just talking about these thick drips here like that. See. That's from it, just not babying it. And you don't have to baby it, you can sand it off, but I'm just gonna be baby it and yeah, give a little extra special attention. But yeah, I will um, show this to you once it is cured. Um, it takes about 24 hours to cure for the touch to where you can actually like, handle it like this. And then I think the bottle says to let it cure for like um, a week, seven days um, before you like do anything with it. Like, Expose it to elements or hang it or whatever. And just in case you guys didn't know, this is what I mean by baby it. About every, I don't know, 10, 15, 30 minutes, just run the sticker over the edges of it until it starts to get like sticky. And then just let it set and do its thing. So I'll move this to a safe drying area. Um, and then once it's cured, we'll come back and I will show you the finished product. So we'll see you in a few. All right, we are back and our um, painting is cured to the touch. Um, for the resin that we put on it, you can see how shiny it is, the, the glare reflecting. Um, we did do pretty well. Um, oh, this side doesn't have any drips. There's only a few on this side. This side was the worst. I think I just didn't get it very well as I was babying it. So I'm just saying a little bit, but not too much, so that's good. And yeah, it looks really cool. You can really see that uh, glitter in the giraffe um, shine through. So I am very happy with it. So this is one way you can um, finish a painting using resin. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.